Rana's uh, mustache is on point. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We are The Movie Couple. I'm Wendy. I'm Dustin. And here's our review for Murder on the Orient Express. Murder on the Orient Express is directed by Kenneth Branagh, also stars Kenneth Branagh, and an all-star cast. As adapted from the novel of Agatha Christie, this murder mystery follows 13 passengers on a luxurious train, and when one of the passengers ends up dead, everyone becomes a suspect. Let's start this review by saying neither one of us have read the book or watched the original and it was actually based on you guys' suggestion from our trailer reaction video that we actually go in this with a fresh open, well, fresh open mind but blind yeah. to not see the original or read the book and also this movie if we get into like the thick of the plot basically becomes a spoiler review and we don't want to do that so we are just going to talk about performances um and uh, execution of the story, but not actual storyline. Yeah, but I mean, first of all, I want to talk about the fact that this movie is very beautifully shot. Yes! The cinematography, the shots that they get, and it's very colorful, very vibrant, and it really kind of gives that, you know, old story, almost fairy tale like kind of feel to this film. I was going to say that, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but I was going to say, if you've ever played like one of those Agatha Christie like photo hunt games, <laughs> it honestly looks like a, like, a, like a really, really realistically beautiful version of that. And plus, this has an all-star cast. Too many to name, which is why we didn't do that in the beginning. Oh my but there's gosh. Daisy Ridley, there's Josh Gad, there is Kenneth Branagh, Johnny Depp, Michelle Pfeiffer, Penelope Cruz, Dame Judi Den Dench. Uh, well, we just, we just named all of them. Right? No, there's we didn't. A there, there, there's a couple more that... that uh, uh, oh, Willem Dafoe. There is just a ton of them. Yeah. And they all do an amazing job. Yes. I have to admit, though, um, Kenneth Branagh knocks it out of the park with this character. They do an amazing job at the very beginning to really show just how witty and how clever and how smart this character is. You know, very much, you know, kind of, a, it's hard not to compare them to like a Sherlock mm -hmm. Holmes. Yeah. I would say that's what, I, I like it when the movie sets the tone right from the get-go and they're not trying to mm -hmm. do something else. That they started off with the introduction of they keep making fun of his name. I'm not going to say it right. Hercules? Well, Her that's what they were making. I know, saying. they were they were, they were making fun of That's what I was going to say, is they were making fun of They were kept, kept on calling him Hercules Poirot and whatever. But anyways, <laughs> I can't say the French name, even though Kenneth Branagh said it 50 million times in the movie. I'm not going to get it right, so we'll just Their take accents, it for what it is. accents, too, I thought were really good. Yeah. But even though, I have to admit, at sometimes I'm like, what they say. I didn't hear them. I really wish that this movie had subtitles because their accents were really thick. Uh, I would say this is, we're going to go back to Kenneth Branagh in just a second, but this movie, it's like not comparing it to like how, how like Inception was, but as far as the story and how much you have to pay attention, it's like when you were watching Inception, you really had to focus and and really zone in on what was happening. And it's kind of like how it is in a murder mystery movie. If you, say, go to the bathroom at the wrong time or you zone out for a couple minutes, because I know that happens to me sometimes when I zone out, and then you come back, you're like, wait, what did I just miss? If you miss a big chunk of the dialogue or even just a couple of sentences, you're like, I don't know what's happening anymore because there are 13 passengers 13 people, a lot of dialogues, a lot of names, a lot going on. And I'll have to say that's probably also one of the weak parts of this movie is the fact that there's so many different characters and so many different storylines and so many different things that is kind of going on. They really don't do a really good job of making everything clear cut. Um, I think that there's a lot of times when you lose what happened when they're talking about someone else because you don't really remember who that person's character's <laughs> name is and then you're kind of yeah. like, wait a second, um, where are they going and I personally kind of got lost I would I would have to agree I would say this movie the first act was so strong there was great energy there was c great comedic moments between Kenneth Branagh and some of the other passengers mm -hmm. and the dialogue just kind of bounced back and forth which is something you I, I would like to see in, in a in a murder mystery detective type of story but as we get through the second act and the third act the energy really kind of wears off and it becomes a little bit dull to be honest with you where in the end where I was like I felt the length of the movie and to your point Dustin when you were saying that you couldn't remember names they really didn't take too much time to develop all the other characters this really centered around Kenneth Branagh and 
it's a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing because he is so fantastic and he really mm -hmm. carried this movie all by himself, to be honest. Um, and it's bad because you're not connecting as much as you'd like with these characters. You got little glimpses of, into, into who they are and who, what they're about, but not enough for me to get completely involved. The gear shift also in this movie was a little weird because the very beginning part is very witty, very fun, very, you know, almost like an adventure kind of comedy. And, but once you start getting into um, the middle of the movie, right when the murder happens, of course, 100% change. There's no comedy. There's nothing funny about anything that's going on. Mm -hmm. And I found it a little jarring. Yeah. But, you know, I guess it kind of has to happen because that's it's a murder mystery. So you have to move on to something a little bit more serious, have fun in the beginning, and then hit your serious moments at the end. Let's talk about Johnny Depp a little bit because uh, I know in the past... We've been a little bit hard on Johnny Depp, specifically um, for his work for the later pirate movies. Yeah. I really enjoyed him in this movie. It wasn't bad. You know, uh, I, I, thought, I thought the way he portrayed his character, and I, didn't, I just didn't feel like he was as big of a caricature as he has been for like pirates and what, what Captain Jack Sparrow was in the beginning of the Pirates franchise versus to how it was at the end. This character is something I was so happy to see Johnny Depp portray. Well, this is also a lot smaller of a role. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's not a spoiler. I mean, he is the one that gets murdered. Well, they show that in the trailer. So. Yeah, so you know he's the one that dies. But, so, you know, for most of the movie, he's dead. And he doesn't come into the movie at least a good quarter of the way in. Mm -hmm. So he has only that one little chunk to where he's talked about and he has a scene with Kenneth Branagh's character. Oh, he has a lot more. I feel like he honestly had a lot more than that. He he really interacted with, yes, m mainly Kenneth Branagh, but he had little sprinkles of conversation with these characters that kind of gives you a hint of uh, at, his, at his character and his person. I don't know about you, but I kind of figured out who done it about halfway through. <laughs> I'm terrible at these kind of movies. I think kind of guessing until the end. And no, I didn't see this one coming. Um, even at the very end, what they went um, when they were trying to so wrap everything up and all together, right? I was still kind of like, wait, maybe it was this one. No, maybe it was this person. <laughs> oh, it was that person. I'm like, and then they reveal. It. I'm like, oh. I mean, I didn't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't guess the exact details, but uh, but as far as the who done it goes, I was like, oh, I think I got it. And then I was right. I was like. Well, maybe I should be the greatest detective. <laughs> oh, I want mm. one more thing. Kenneth Branagh's uh, mustache is on point. <laughs> on point. They definitely poke fun at the mustache throughout the movie, which is great. Mm -hmm. And overall, this is a fun movie to watch. And it's a good, I personally think it's a good murder mystery. So yeah. I had fun in this movie. Overall, I'm going to give this movie a uh, check it out. I had fun watching it. I don't think it's worth going to see opening night, but it's definitely to be able to see all the colors, to be able to see um, the entire picture of this film to, and it has great characters. I like the interaction. I'm going to say go check it out. I was kind of on the fence with my rating. Uh, af right after I saw it, I was so excited. I was so wrapped up at the beautiful cinematography. I was so impressed by Kenneth Branagh. I mean, how can you not? I was like, this is a check it out opening night. And then I slept on it. I literally slept on it because we did the review. Like, this is two days after we've seen the movie. And I am going to lower my uh, score or my, my rating to a check it out. I, I don't feel like this is a hurry up and get your ticket on opening night. But I definitely think... Something as epic and theatrical as this needs to be witnessed on a large screen. Well, you guys, that's it for our review. Let us know in the comment section whether you've seen the original movie or not. And also, which one did you prefer? I mean, there's the ah. book, there's the old movie, and there's the new movie. So, and this is, I believe the older movies are a lot older. So, I'm wondering if it still holds up. What do you guys think? Comment below. And... Don't forget to like and share, subscribe. Also, don't forget we're on Patreon now, so go ahead and check that out. I'll put the link right in the description box. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. See you guys.